When the WNBA All-Star Game tips off tomorrow in Connecticut, five of the 22 players, let, let that sink in for a second, five of the 22 players, or a quarter of the All-Stars, will be former UConn Huskies. Pretty impressive. Starting at one guard spot for the West will be Seattle Sue Bird, who is second in the WNBA in assists per game. One of the West reserves will be her former UConn teammate, Diana Taurasi, who is second in the WNBA in scoring, and Sue and Diana... Together again, like I said, the old band is, is back together for the, uh, for the All-Star Game, and they are here in Connecticut. It must bring back memories, right, that you guys are here in Connecticut and teammates again. What's it like that you're reunited like that? Um, it's always fun to come back here, mm -hmm. you know. Um, I think, it, like you said, there's five of the 22. God, I didn't even realize yeah. the, the odds on that. That's yeah. unreal. 25%? That's unreal. Mm -hmm. yeah. It really so, is. Uh, no, it, but always. Always coming back here is great. Uh, being with... You know, the, the girls that you haven't seen, or the women, I should say, that you haven't seen in a long time, all of us together. You know, it's not many times that happens, so it's fun. What are your thoughts? Uh, it's, a, it's great coming back. Um, with the fans, we get to see each other, Coach Oriema, um, people we probably haven't seen in a while, uh, people we worked with for so long. And, um, you know, there's five of us in the, in the All-Star game, and that just speaks volume of, you know, our program and how ready it gets you to, to play at the next level. What is the best part for, for you guys, All-Star Weekend? Be, mm -hmm. What is the best part if you could pick one thing? Um, God, I guess one thing would be uh, it's, it's always a fun show, and being a part of it is fun for the mm -hmm. fans. Like she just said, particularly in Connecticut, um, people that probably watch us play in college. But then knowing that you're one of you know, 22 players who got picked and you get to just hang out with them yeah. and, and just, I don't know, you have a good time on and off the court, so it's cool. For you? I mean, Connecticut's just fun. Uh, I mean, the Mohegan Sun's a great little place in the woods where you can have a lot of good times. And, uh, you know, being on the court with the best in the world is always, you know, an, an, an honor. Um, so, you know, all-star games are fun. Gino's uh, done it again. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think, has he ever lost in his career? <laughs> <laughs> it seems like he, you know, he just throws undefeated seasons yeah. out there like nothing. Yeah. And, and last year the debate was raging about the O2 team or this team, and I know you ladies have an opinion on that, <laughs> and I would desperately love to hear it. I'll let, you, I'll, let you, I'll let you take Diana, it. Diana, you go first. Well, being a part of the 2002 team, yeah. it's only a debate to the people who were here. <laughs> to the people on this couch, there's no questions <laughs> about it. It's that cut and dried for you. I mean, if you think about the team we had that year, uh, for the you know, players on the All-Star game this year, yeah. Tamika Starting Williams, that. who you know, is retired to coach, probably could be an All-Star if she got in shape again. Um, hey, we were a machine, and yeah. I mean, nothing, not taking anything away from this team this past year. It'd it be a close game, wouldn't it? No. No, it wouldn't be a close game. What are we talking about? What do you What's think, the point differential? Because Sue, I, come on, I, what are, you're the point guard. What, come what on. do you think? We're, I say we got them nine times out of ten. Yeah. Wow. By 15. So by 15? Yeah. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not comfortable wow. saying that. Yeah. It would be, you know, there'd be some close ones, but by yeah. average. I mean, they were good. You look at those highlights. Yeah. I mean, there's no doubt they're good. I don't want to start anything right now. I'm right. sure they're watching at home right yeah. now. Just <laughs> kill me. But uh, we, we were just, I mean, we were that good. That's really, they were as great as they are. I mean, it's we, easy we were. To, both teams were great. And, yeah. and you can, you, that's one thing everybody can agree on. Uh, Diana, I, it's just tough to talk about. And I know that it's, it's hard for you to talk about. But I have to ask about mm -hmm. the DUI. Going through all of that for you. Yeah. What's the one thing that you'll come come through this on the other side and, and say you've learned through this? I mean, it's like you said, it's been a, a difficult time. Um, and uh, I'm going to look back on it. I look back on it every single day. And, and uh, it's something that I'm going to have to go through. And uh, it will make me a better person and, and a better player. Um, and it's, you know, right now I want to move forward in making things right. So yeah. it, it's been challenging. If you and I, if Skip and I were to take on the two of you right now out on the on the court, see now you guys, you guys would take. How us badly in. would we lose? <laughs> How badly would Skip and I lose against? You the could two throw Scoop in there too. Yeah, okay, gotcha. let's take Scoop. And, and if we get Patrick Creighton, we've got a game, right? Put Patty in there too. We got it. <laughs> now we're getting too cocky. I can't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with Scoop, Skip, and I, I think it'd be a close game. Close. With Patrick, I'm giving us yeah. the edge. I'm giving us the edge. Uh, it's great to see the two of you together, yeah. and uh, I know it's going to be a fun weekend, yeah. so do enjoy it, Thank and uh, it's going to be great for the fans, too. I know a lot of folks in, yeah. uh, in Connecticut are very much looking forward to it. Okay, Diana Tarasi and Sue Bird, uh, congrats, too, on, on having great seasons so far.